And, well, before you ask me, yeah, that uh, mirror in the back, we can break it with the power glove, but we still don't have what we need to get what's behind it. So no point in breaking things now. Anyway, let us challenge the arena. Not a thousand gala, we can afford that. So there are a total of four battles you can stop after each one, as long as you don't lose, of course. The first one, Medea. And this is one of those where you want to have uh, full Libras for everybody. Let's go ahead and equip those really quick. The goat dolls will be more handy in the future battles. And since I do have plenty of items, I'm going to hit him with everything we've got. This guy only has about 10,000 HP, so it's a good one to start with. Especially since uh, the rewards are actually pretty good for early on. Oh, high Flame, not a big deal. He does have human experimentation. Okay, not 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 a big deal. And I can't. Uh... Okay, I don't know if the uh, nectars restore MP as well. I'll have to double check that in a little bit. But he should go down this round. Easy peasy. And she's dancing. Bravo! Bravo! Duke Peguchi is pleased with the fight! He anxiously awaits your next match! You'll fight again, won't you? And, uh, yeah, we will not yet fight again. Oh, wait. <laughs> so, if you say no, you get 10 heal berries, a goat doll, and a lucky card. This is the only way to really grind for lucky cards that I'm aware of. I don't... There may be enemies you can steal them from. I honestly don't know. You're the charge! You're gonna care less about life! Here they are now! It's a survival arena fight! Ready? Go! So, bad news. Yet another recurring wild arms enemy that's making his first appearance. Go ahead and get goat dolls on everybody. This guy hits hard. And I honestly don't care about using the goat dolls because since you can buy them in the black market, using the duplication trick really isn't that much different. So I'm going to hit him with Phaser, Magnifying, and try to hit him with Fragile as well. Doesn't matter if he's faster than us, the goat dolls will bring us back to life if we die. And yeah, it just hits hard. I may not even bother healing. So once I can lock on, I'll be using Wild Punch. And he's suddenly fast enough, yay. But standard boss fight. Okay, that was not much. Uh, matter of fact, I may just have Cecilia hyper up. Anyway, this was a fully powered up Wild Bunch. But Goat Doll takes the blow. And just gotta remember to re equip one after using one. And the nice thing is, it doesn't interrupt the turn. So, Magnifying doing a nice amount of damage. Wild Bunch doing even more nice damage. Alright, give that. Give you another one, Jack. The nice thing is, I don't think this guy. Uh, has any AoE. Very, very nice. Yes, this guy is... Let me double check the numbers. Uh, 40,000 HP.
And in this case, uh, oh. let's have him taste the rainbow, see if that does anything. <laughs> And down he goes. So, 5,000 experience. Level up. Not too bad. If you stop here, you will get one of each apple as well as five potion berries. So this is a place to get apples. It seems everyone was captivated by the fight. The battle was even fiercer for Duke Pegucci. They've life to the fullest. Challenge the next round. So yes, we're looking forward to a good fight. Now the survival arena fight. Ready? Go! Round three. Against the Jabberwock, which is actually Jabberwocky, so uh, just a mistranslation. This guy is susceptible to Divine Shot. So we actually want to hit him with that. I'm going to try and fragile him and beef up Jack for when we're done with that. So I don't know if uh, Jack, Jack's luck will affect it, but yep, this guy has an also 4 EK HP. And yeah, we, we're all dead, but Goat Doll takes the blow. So I'll probably heal up just to get it. HP top up to save goat dolls. So, Divide Shot will do max damage as long as their HP is higher than 20k. So, just getting two off will be good for this guy. And unfortunately, yeah, uh, the downside is the fact that I lose my force ability, so may not be feasible to always use uh, Wild Bunch of Broody, as long as it's sl slower than the boss at least. Yep, okay, so at this point Divide Shot will not be the way to go, because he's already, yeah, it should be at about slightly under 20k. And I may just heal up again. Oh, real quick, Gold Dolls. Do not forget to do that. And do, use a phaser. I'll probably switch to Magnum Thing at this point. Try to fragile him. Nope, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, Rudy's arms are going to be the ones to be the way to go. So I may actually try the bite shot again, because that should do more damage. So got that. But not enough for a lock-on, unfortunately. Try this one more time. And I think if I take a hit and die, I lose, the, I lose any hyper I may cast on Jack, so it's just going to be better to hit him with Fragile. Okay, yep. He will go down quickly enough. And if I really need to, I can use an Ambrosia. Make sure we're all good. Get the run gun for those. I'll lock on with Wild Bunch. Magnum Fang. And just another Remedy. In case it, in case it lasts one more round. Oh, no, he dead. So, easy 10k experience. Somebody stop these maniacs! All of you attack with such pleasure! No more monsters are no match for you! You're unstoppable! There's no way you can stop now, right? So, if you stop now, you get three secret signs, ten magic carrots, and an ambrosia. So, this is the way to get secret signs. So, who knows what's going to happen next in Survival Arena? Ready? Go! <laughs> nice typo. And the final battle against the Riversider. And basically same as usual, hit it with Divide Shot, it's got 60,000 experience. Let's try and fragile it. Yep, it is very fast. It's hard. But we've got Goat Dolls. And I do believe Jack's luck does influence the, the success rate of the Divide Shot, because it's actually pretty good. All right, that worked. So in this case, phaser, fight shot, and I'm gonna try and slow it down. 
And goodbye, Cecilia. I think I would miss. Yep. I do have enough uh, ammo in Ruby's cartridges, too. Okay, that worked. That is very nice. So, uh, re equip the goat off. Alright, wild bunch. Bite shot, and we got plenty of these ambrosias. That's why you that's why I duplicate them for. Use them. And miss. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. So, he's about halfway down now. Brutal blow! Unfortunately, he's still faster than Cecilia. Re-equip that goat doll. And the rest should be straight, pretty straightforward. So, Cecilia, you can... Actually, I wonder. I don't know if Hyper affects Rudy's arms. That was a good time to experiment with that. So, I can probably hit him with one more divide shot at close to max damage, if not full max damage. Alright, Wild Bunch. Divide shot and a, a Mega Berry for you. Yeah, it looks like Hyper did not affect the arms. So, oh, goodbye, Rudy. Welcome back, Rudy. Keep that coat doll on. Yep, still got enough ammo. Ah, I'll try one more divide shot, and... Is this guy weak to anything? Not that I can see, looking at my notes. But, it is a water-based enemy. Let's, uh... Let me some sparks here. Oh, it meows! Oh, very nice, very nice! It hits, and... Low uh, 20k, so got about 5,000 left. Nope, not his weakness. Not quite Personic Vision. Yeah, might as well remedy. I can save my items, but this may finish it. Oh, not quite. Counter, counter, kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh, darn. Now, fortunately, we have a lock-on. We have a sonic vision. And we have a high guardian, so this guy will... <laughs> this guy's dead. He's not coming back to me. Bye-bye. And she's dancing! Yeah, this is a good one to use a lucky card on. What a winning streak! Even though Pagucci is speechless, Survival Arena, we await your challenge! Free your friends and family to participate in this brutal event! So, we got a duplicator, three nectars, and a full Libra. So, if you want more full Libras, then don't duplicate them. Well, there you go, that's how you get more. But, uh, speaking of, let's go ahead and equip those. And, I don't need to top off just yet, I will refill Ruby's ammo. Because before we, before we head out, we'll make one more quick side trip. This is a good time to showcase those enemies that drop duplicators. May take a couple tries, but we'll get them. The main thing, though, is have a full Libra equipped when you fight them. Nope, nope, can't run between him. Or if you want to take the long way, which also grinds up some experience, the... Uh, Battle Arena is slow, but fairly rewarding. Yeah, my ship's all the way over here. I'm sure there's someone in Asgard and walk. Oh, you're not too bad. 
It was those giant plants that I was worried about last time. Of course, we're a much higher level than the last time we came here, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so it's actually the largest island east of the battle arena. So it's the third one here. Yeah, I thought for the longest time I thought you had to fly here. But nope, you can come here as soon as you have access to the outer sea on the ship. And I'm gonna kill these guys for the experience. It's also more reliable than running away. If I run away and fail, we lose a turn. Come on. If I wanted to, I could I could cast the spell that increases the counter rate. Oh. Hey, Garms. I want to make sure this is the right island, though. My notes say the largest island east of the battle arena. And this does look like it, so... No, I may be misremembering. I think... I thought there was a sign on that island. Oh, yay. There they are. Problem is, they just have a lot of HP. Uh, these enemies, not the ones that drop the duplicators. Not bad for Gale, at least. Try one more here. Pork lords. Now she's dancing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking for a moment. So, uh, I think I'll kind of head to when I encounter encounter what we're looking for. Hey, there we go. So the Hayo Kontons. Uh, these enemies are very tough and have plenty of HP as well as the fact that they can inflict a bunch of status ailments. But these are the only enemies in the game that will drop duplicators. Uh, you can also steal them from them, which is a bit more reliable. However, I'm going to showcase uh, how useful they are for grinding in a couple other ways. Uh, I do believe they are susceptible to the divide shot. We'll check that out. And I've got a lucky card. Let's utilize that. These, I do believe these are some of the best enemies in the game for grinding for experience. Okay, so yeah, easily, easily need to hit him with one divide shot. But uh, yeah, since I don't have goat dolls equipped, I do want to make sure this facility keeps everyone healed. Fortunately, their regular attack's not too bad. It's human experimentation that is annoying. So Rudy, you attack them. Uh, I hit this other one with the buy shot. I think they got they have at least 20,000 experience. That's a given. And nice hit. So I'll probably hit that one on the left with another divide shot just to double check while Goody packs away the other okay, one. Okay, I was gonna say so long as Silly doesn't get attacked by the other one, we're fine. <laughs> And I should have enough MP for Cecilia to carry us through this. Or I could just uh, High Guardian Reftina again, that'll help. And hit the hit. Okay, so. About 40,000 experience. Or hit points, not. Direct voice. Oops, an AoE. Not too bad.
All right, lock on. And we'll just uh, whittle away at both of them. Cecilia, you have to keep uh, keep that force built up for summoning Raftina on the next turn. I have no need to get duplicators, of course, since I'm using the duplication trick. But there is one segment of the game that requires five duplicators to open the doors. This is really the best way to get them. Or if you want the extra goodies from the arena, you can do that too, but I still recommend doing this if you're saving time. Because the experience is very worth it too, if I remember correctly. Alright, we've got a Sonic Vision about ready, but more importantly, High Guardian with, with Reftina. Alright, one down. Yeah, I highly, highly doubt you can imprison these guys in him with Lucky Shot for an easy duplicator. If that was the case, then... Uh, oh, Antimatter Bomb, that might, that might hurt. Oh, uh, sorry, Jack. That didn't heal him up as much as I was hoping. We are topped off. But I do want him to get that experience. So we'll just assume Cecilia will act after the guy. Nope. Wild Lunch, Magnum Fang. And we're back good. Bye bye. And yeah, 80,000 experience. I dance for that too, Cecilia. So probably the most worthwhile grinding spot in the game as you're going for duplicators. If you have the lucky cards, those are perfect. Oh, that done. Uh, let's uh, let's retreat and top up uh, at Basker Village. Because again, free healing for cheap. Load our ammo and take a rest. So that's everything we can do now. Because, uh, yeah, that stone mermaid just isn't showing up. I probably have not progressed far enough for it to appear. We'll be back here though. And let's make our way to Cut Dingle.